Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to upload an image to your Roblox Studio account so that you can begin using that image on objects that you create in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So uh, when you're in Roblox Studio, there might be times where you want to add an image to uh, a part that you have created or add a picture. So uh, I created this part here. And again, the create a part, you just go up to part and then block, and then you can resize it or um, whatever uh, kind of shape that you would like. And then uh, make sure that you have your um, explore and properties tab open on the right hand side. And to find those just go to view and then click on property and uh, properties and explore. So uh, the easiest way is to go ahead and sign into your account uh, on roblox.com. And then it will take you to, uh, you know, your main page and where you, you want to uh, click on create. And then when you click on create, it should bring you to this page, which is my creations. If it doesn't, just go ahead and, and type in www.roblox.com slash develop and make sure you're signed in. And then it will show the games that you have uh, created uh, so far and, and published to Roblox. And so in order to uh, add images to your inventory or to your account, you will go click down here to uh, my creations and then click on decals. And once you click on decals, it would ask, it will ask you to create a decal and um, you will choose a file. So just click choose a file. And then I have a couple here. I've already uploaded this tree picture. I'm going to upload this stream picture uh, that I have. And again, any images that you use, make sure that you have the rights to use that image in your game. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this and it, it can take uh, a couple minutes. I've, I've seen people, it takes sometimes a couple hours. Um, so be patient. Now this is showing, um, you know, that it's uploaded. Um, and just make sure that, you know, what you're using uh, is, you know, okay by Roblox. Uh, they're going to let you know if for any reason that they don't allow that picture. Um, so there's the stream picture and it looks like it's uploaded, just not showing the thumbnail yet. So now that I've uploaded it to my account on roblox.com, I'm going to go back to Roblox Studio and you want to click on toolbox right here. And so your toolbox should be showing and you, there's the marketplace. But then what I want you to do is uh, click on inventory and then click on instead of my models, click on my images. And now this is going to show you the images that you have available that you have uploaded uh, like we just did. So there's the stream picture. Let's see if it shows up. I'm going to click on the part and I'm going to click on the stream picture. And there it is. Okay, and so now you can see the image uh, was successfully uploaded uh, onto the website and then onto the image. Uh, a couple things to keep in mind uh, when you're manipulating the image on the part, uh, you, you will notice that it tends to resize with the part. Um, so if you want to you know, keep the image small but still have the part be uh, larger, uh, you can add other uh, parts to it uh, like around it and then uh, keep the image the same size and then cre create a model basically. Um, so you could do it that way. Um, and then um, when you're figuring out which way you want the image to face on the uh, on the part, just go ahead and click on the decal, the stream picture or whatever, and which picture you put on there. And then just come down here to the data and you'll see the face and it says front. Let's say I wanted that to be on the back of this uh, part. So now you notice it changed. I'm gonna go around. And so now it's on the back. So that's uh, one thing to keep in mind when you're uploading pictures to Roblox Studio. Uh, so you now know how to upload a picture to a Roblox Studio that you can then use in the games that you're creating. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.